Red meat. I get this question asked all the time. Is it as evil as it's supposed to be or is it a cure-all? These are my thoughts on red meat. I eat red meat on a daily basis. How much red meat? At least 1.2 kilos a day. Sometimes I eat 2 kilos a day. Is that a lot of meat? Well, if I compare myself with a Lakota Indian, it's actually quite low. They used to eat 4 kilos a day, so 8.8 .8 pounds. But they didn't eat much of anything else. So it depends on you know, what's the makeup of your diet. But what I find with clients, one thing I'm sure is that if I introduce quality red meat in their diet, their brain function improves, their sleep improves, their energy improves, their ability to put muscle mass on, their ability to lose body fat improves. But the key word is quality. Hot dogs, you could say that's red meat, but that's not really meat, okay? One of the reasons why I live in Colorado is because I have access to quality meat every day within a five minute drive. So if you look in my fridge, I got yak, I got ostrich, I got bison, I got grass fed beef, I got elk. Where I go on vacation is dictated by the quality meat I can have. Where I go teach is also uh, qualify, but where can I get good meat? People say, I, I'm going to come and teach in Stuttgart. No, because it's really hard to find good meat. Can I find good meat or fish in Marbella, Spain? Yes, that's why I've opened up a gym there. That's why I like to teach in Estonia. That's where I like to teach uh, in Australia, because in Australia you can actually have very good meat. But I don't teach it you know, in places like Boston or New York because it's like really challenging to find quality meat. What's important to know? There's nothing wrong with red meat if you eat enough vegetables. So if you don't balance your diet, there's a problem because you do need. But if you're interested in high quality brain function, high quality muscle performance, I think it's really hard to do it without red meat. But the, the most important thing is that do you invest in the best meat possible? So one of the things I notice with clients is that when I add quality red meat to their uh, diet, I have to take away something. So usually what do I take away? Poor quality meat and I take away grains. But what happens to my client's blood? Well, what we see is that the lipid profile improves. I don't like the standard lipid profile. I use what they call the VIP, okay? And I look at the quality of the HDL versus just the number in HDL. I look at the quality of the LDL. I look at triglycerides. But when you increase someone's quality meat, what you see is the cardiovascular risk factors from lipoproteins to um, things like uh, triglycerides changes dramatically. But one of the most interesting things I see is how their blood sugar management improves. So their resting insulin is lower, their resting uh, fasting glucose is lower, but the HB1AC, which is a marker of aging by what the insulin did as far as damage to your red blood cell, improves. So controlling blood sugar is actually done very well by adding uh, quality red meat in a diet.